Boom. All right. Thank you guys for uh, thank you guys for jumping on with us for this episode of Expert Mentors Live. We are episode five with the one and only Albie Stasic. Um, What's so, uh, man, just a quick introduction. Uh, my name is John Kitchens, a strategic business advisor here at NAEA and um, head of coaching and mastermind for NAEA as well. Um, I've been business partners with Jay and Michael since uh, 2010, um, even go back a little bit further than that. And, um, you know, before I kick things over to you, Albie, and, and um, man, I just want to give everybody a quick introduction of really what Expert Mentors Live is all about. This is our fifth episode. And, man, they, they, the previous four have been fantastic. If you haven't had the opportunity to check them out, do so. Uh, we are having all of these recorded episodes live inside of the Expert Mentors tool. The all in there. And uh, this one will be posted in there as well. So make sure you tune into that. But really what Expert Mentors is, is all about is the opportunity to tap into the Honey Badger power of this group. And as most of you know, there are many, many of talented people here in the community and um, really people that really want to give back. So Expert Mentors Live is, is really the um, place that we're going to able to leverage the power of the community for all of for all of our benefit and um you know with the weekly live training with some of the best agents on the planet so make sure you have your calendar set for noon central every wednesday uh so you can tune in live with us on these calls um so super excited like i said to have albie on with us uh to really talk about how to consistently hit your sales target goals with his 25 10 4 stasic method uh, really super excited uh, for, for Al to share this. I've had the opportunity to, to go through this training um, several times. Um, so Al, I'm going to, you know, if you want to do a quick introduction, I, you know, I've had the opportunity to work with Al for the last five, six years, and it's just been, uh, just been awesome. And, you know, uh, we really push each other to be better each and every day. And, and I know you guys are going to get a ton out of this training session. So make sure you have your notepad and pen handy. I've got uh, got mine right here, ready to uh, ready to take some notes. Man, you know you're 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 so kind, and that's such a nice introduction. But you've been my coach for the last what five six years, so yeah. I gotta give it to you. You're the one that makes me <laughs> think differently and pushes me out of the box. So hey, enough of that. Let's talk about getting directly right into this training. Um, Al Stasic coming live from the land CLE, and we're gonna go over what we named the Stasic Method, 25104. It's a formula that we came up with on how you can track easily. As you can see behind me, this is just a whiteboard. Probably everybody watching this has a whiteboard. If you don't, you can get one um, at any anywhere. It doesn't have to be a special whiteboard, magnetic, or anything like that. And then here's the other thing I got, sticky notes, and of course, a black marker. So before I get into this, is, is, am I, is, the, is the connection better than it was, John? Can you hear me okay? Am I clear? Clear. Am I good? Good. All right, cool. So the reason that um, I came up with this, um, this method was, uh, first of all, I didn't come up with it. There's a, another gentleman who I believe isn't with us on this earth anymore by the name of Al Granham. Al Granham came up with a method for selling life insurance that was, uh, he, he, I don't remember his exact formula, but my formula is based off of that and it was named the Granum Method. So after many, many nights of sleepless nights trying to figure out what we're gonna call this, we came up with the Stasic Method. Brilliant, right? So here's, here's the, the method. When you're, um, I wanna sell one house a month, two houses a month, three houses a month, four months, whatever your goals are, this isn't meant to tell you what your goals should be. This is meant to give you a, um, you know, a, a framework of a mindset of how to think about your day-to-day -day daily tasks that equal into what you do weekly and of course monthly. And what this boils down to is the principles of lead measures versus lagging measures. And so there's a book, John, you, uh, I, I, it's The Four Disciplines of Execution. Four I would highly recommend anybody, is it The Four Disciplines of Execution? Yep. Am I coming in okay? Yeah, you're good. I was just looking uh, in, on Stace's bookshelf here, and uh, I, I, I took over his office the last oh, minute. So I see if you got a copy of it, I was going to show everybody, but uh, I don't see it. Yeah. The, the Four Disciplines just talks about, I mean, what it's talking about is, is focusing on your lead measures versus your lagging measures. And when you're focusing on your leading measures, 
such as your opportunities and, and what we're doing with those opportunities and your appointments, your number of face-to-face -face appointments. Those are the lead measures that lead to sales. But what a lot of us do is we always focus on the scoreboard, meaning the sales scoreboard. And here's the thing, whatever's on the scoreboard for May, guys, we can't change that. May's in the books. The closings are in the books. Unless we get a cash buyer that comes out of, you know, out of the, the, the sticks and wants to close in a week. I mean, May's done. We can't do anything about whatever May is. All we can focus, focus on are, are June and, and July and the, and the coming months. But instead of trying to focus on where we land in sales, my suggestion is we focus on the lead measures, the number of opportunities that you're getting, which also, this is not leads, and I'll explain what that is in a minute and the number of face-to-face -face appointments. And if, if we follow the same formula and get into a rhythm of, 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 of visually seeing these on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, we can actually change the trajectory of whether we're winning the month or losing the month by simply just looking at our board. So let's dig into this. The 25 stands for opportunity. What's that, my friend? No, you're good. Am I good? Okay, cool. What we define as an opportunity is not a lead. An opportunity is qualified in three things. One, they are a legit, we have their contact information. We've had contact with this lead, okay? And we've actually um, verified that, that, that these, are, these are who they say they are. In other words, it's not a fake lead that we don't have information on. We've actually had contact. That contact could be straight up through email, um, if they're unable to speak, but ideally we want that to be a conversation. The second thing is they, um, they have an, a desire motivation to actually uh, do something, whether that's list their house or you know, buy a home, but their level of motivation is there. And we actually measure that level of motivation and how high, high or low, if, they're a, you know, if, the, if, the, if the level's there, but it's on the lower side, meaning, they may not be buying for a little while. We may classify them as a nurture, and we'll talk a little bit about that. But if they're not, and we want to get face-to-face, -face, then we, we want to we over here in the appointments, and that's where we want to focus on. We want to get the people who are not nurturers, who are ready to make, take action right away, and that's why we want to set a face-to-face -face appointment and focus on how many of those we're doing on a monthly basis. The third thing, so just to recap, first thing, we verified, and we've actually spoken with them. They're, they are who they say they are. Third, they're actually selling something. And third, that can qualify for me as that, that's an opportunity in my world. Okay. So the goal, you can just see it's a simple whiteboard. I drew a line right across here. The goal for us, now this is our goal. Now, when I, I was in sales, my goal was to sell a house a week, 52. I did that for many years, and, and I didn't even know that I was doing this. I kind of reverse engineered and said, well, what did I do? And I look back, because I've, I've been setting listing appointments going back to before there was a calendar in your phone. That's how old I am. I'm, I'm older than dirt. And, and I used to have the, the title company would give me a free uh, calendar book that I would write them all, all in. I found mine, and I would highlight, in 2001, I found it. Um, I keep it in my drawer just as a little memory of how many appointments I would go on. And um, at the end of the day, this is the formula. This is where I came up with it. It didn't come out of clear air. I knew that if I could get 25 legitimate opportunities every single month, that I could turn those into 10 face-to-face -face appointments. And I know that that's where the four comes in. I could get a sale a week or four a month, which was what my – my goal was. Now, I will tell you this, through getting better and better and better, I far exceeded the four. I was, you know, I was selling probably six to eight, sometimes 10 uh, homes in a month I was closing. What I'm saying is, is that in general, this is what we're, this is what we're looking at. So let's just start here. By the way, we can measure where our bottleneck is based off of where we're having trouble in this process. Okay. So if, we're not able to get enough opportunities on a monthly basis. We, need, we, we know we need to do better lead generation. And there's a million different ways we could do lead generation. We're not going to talk about that today here. But that's, that's how we would. If 
figure out, we got to work on our scripts and our dialogues and, and figure out why we're not getting these guys to, to come over here. Does that make sense to everybody? I hope so. John, am I still coming in okay for everybody? Yeah. I mean, I love it. I mean, what, what, a couple of things that you, that you hit on is that you got clear on what, what the words mean, right? That's where a lot of people, they won't even get clear. Like my definition of success is different than yours. So getting clear on what is an opportunity is absolutely critical. So I'm glad you really hit on that. And then as you're going through right now, you're talking about where are the constraints, where are the choke points in your business? Right. And so this is, this is, this is a really easy way that if, but see, here's the thing. This is about awareness, everybody. Most people aren't aware of these statistics. They're only looking at the scoreboard of sales and they're scratching their heads and like, oh, I don't have more sales. It's all boils down. Everything points to these factors. It points to the number of opportunities that we have. Some, you know, some people call them prospects. I mean, whatever you want to call them, we call them opportunities. It's basically a qualified lead in our version of qualification based off those three factors. That's what we call an opportunity. And then of course, an appointment's an appointment. So let's dig into exactly how to use this. By the way, I have agents who do not have a goal of selling for a month. And that's totally fine if you're one of them. If your goal is to sell one a month because you're a new agent and you're ramping up, well then we just take these numbers and, and we just dial them back down. It's that simple. Just keep the same formula. Uh, so for instance, let's say, hey Al, I'm not, I don't, I'm not trying to, I need to get the two a month before I get the four a month. That's fine. Just cut these in half. Now we're talking about 12, five, and two. So if that makes sense. So let's dig in. These are sticky notes. And so what I do, and this is what we train our agents to do, is when you, when you have a new opportunity, which I don't care where it comes from. It could, come, it could be a referral you got from a friend and family. It could be someone from Facebook you went to high school, haven't seen in 20 years, whatever. It, you know, it could be a lead that you got from, from prospecting. But that lead turned into an opportunity. It's an opportunity for you to do business with them. You simply take one of the notes. By the way, this is undone. The goal is to move the, the, the sticky notes from here to here. And what you're doing is you're going to start to see the progression. And I'm going to write on here, you know, write the name, John Kitchens. And there is my first opportunity of the month. Perfect. I simply do this. Next name. And again, the progression is these notes all start making it on the other side of this line. This is the done line. The goal is to get all of these on this side. By the way, I forgot one little thing. Uh, Al Graham never used a board like this. He used a spreadsheet. I'm visual. I like the board. So I took this, this process that uh, tech people use called Scrum, yep. and, and I combined the Al Graham method and the Scrum, and I came up with the Stasic uh, method from those two methodologies and ways of thinking things. And what the tech people do is they use this to get projects done. So I said, well, we're getting projects done. This is a project. Every month, my project is getting enough opportunities into my pipeline to turn into appointments. Let's talk about the appointment side. Perfect. I call John, John, I call you. You're actually not just an opportunity that I have to, you know, keep my eye on, but I actually set an appointment with you. Okay. So you and Holly, you're looking for a new house and um, you're, you're, you, you pass the, the, the opportunity test. You're, you are who you say you are, your contact information. You're looking to actually buy and sell a new home and you're, you're not committed to another agent. Great. This is an opportunity to make an appointment have the presentation and sell them on their, their um, um, on them doing business with me. So in that case, I would write John and Holly Kitchens on one of these pieces of paper. I would put it on here. And because we're meeting in my office to go over the buyer presentation, the buyer, the smart home buyer strategy, and or I'm going to their house to sit for a listing appointment, I'm also gonna grab one over here. So it's one person, John and Holly Kitchens, they not only represent an, a new opportunity for the month, they're also representing an appointment for the month. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. So what a lot of people do and why I like explaining this through a, um, 
a, a video explanation is people are like, well, you know, when, when, when do I move? If I have an opportunity, do I, does this count? No. So if, if it's a nurture and we don't set the appointment or whatever, but it's still an opportunity, then we don't, we don't touch one of these. But if, if you actually, if you actually speak with them in the same month of May, and we set the appointment and that appointment actually runs, then we count that as another appointment. The goal is to get all of these down here. And this is what winning the, the month will look like. Because I got my 10 face to face for the month. Or maybe for you it's five. I'm not telling you what your number should be. I'm just showing you this methodology because it works. Science experiment, we were using this with our ISAs. We're like, hey, let's, let's just try this. Well, it was unbelievable. I mean, at the time we had two ISAs running, they were sitting right next to each other. This was at our old office. We had a real big giant board. Half of it was for Ryan, half of it was for Wayne. And it was cool because it kind of put a little gamification in it. And they actually started getting a, a little bit more fun with it. They were, they drew on the bottom of the line where their, um, where their, where their uh, sources were coming from for, for these opportunities, okay? Let me be clear, this is not taking the place of your database. Anyone that's down here at the end of the month, if you, you should have like entered in, you should be working through a, a CRM, whatever your CRM you should be using, this doesn't take the place of it. All I'm suggesting is that at a glance, going up to go get a cup of coffee or whatever, I can look at this board at any time during the month and see whether I'm winning or I'm losing the month based off of the lead measures, not based off of the lagging measures. So I know you've been through the training before. You get it, John. Um, do, do, do the people watching have any way of uh, asking questions through yeah. this platform? Or they, can, they can hit the Q&A button or they can hit us up in the chat. Um, whatever, whatever works, if they have any questions, I mean, give us a uh, Give us some thumbs up. Give us some love um, if you guys are, are, are following. Um, if it's making sense, loving what, uh, what I'll be sharing. Oh, I see there. We got 22. Oh, there we go. Steve, Brandon, makes sense. Great. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh, I just had a chat button here, and now I can, I can see. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. I'm glad you're liking it. Um, so... The, this isn't going to be a super long because guys look I'm not going to you know we don't have to complicate this and that's the other thing it's just this is so easy and you don't have to go out and buy anything other than you know uh, a pack of these sticky notes or if you like blue it doesn't matter I'm mean, like well what about blue should we use yellow I mean, use whatever you want it doesn't really matter I just happen to be using this I'll actually give you a little sneak peek should we talk a little bit about what, what I'm the same methodology that I'm using with, with, um, with age? Absolutely. Absolutely. It'll, it'll really help. Okay, cool. Yeah. Steve, we need this for our agents. This is the best thing you can teach your agents. It's, 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 it's fun. And here's a great accountability thing. We have our agents, we encourage our agents to take a picture of their board because some of our agents work from home, right? EXP, operating in the cloud, you know, they don't have to come into the office. If they want to come into the office, I know one of the agents, Salam, she gets really, um, she gets a lot done with regards to her calls and she just gets in a great, so she comes into my office. Right now, I don't know if you guys can see this, I'm, 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 I'm poolside right now. I'm, I'm in my pool house, I'm working. <laughs> I'm in, the, I'm in the hit factory, like Mike Reese calls it right here. This is where I get my, my shit done right here. Um, I have a question. Yolita, as you know, I'm looking for your honest opinion if you really need a market maker system. All right, that's, um, we can take that off uh, um, cue. Um, that's, that's for another <laughs> that's for, <laughs> that question's for another webinar, Yolita. I appreciate the answer, but um, why don't you PM us after that? Actually, PM um, myself and John, and one of us will figure that out. You can get your entire agent, all your agents on your team. You can they do buyer. 
Um, uh oh, it's saying my internet's unstable. Am I froze? Uh, you're you're back. Okay. So I'm not sure where I stopped. Start over. <laughs> Am I good now? Yeah, you're good. What I'm saying is that you can use this for all of your agents on your team, or if you're an individual agent, this does not matter. Any, anything, any way you want to do it. Did you hear the part where I have my agents take pictures of their board and post them to our private Facebook group? And it's great. Like, they make a game out of it. Am I froze again? No, you're good. Oh, uh, okay. So, I don't know whether I'm froze or not because <laughs> – you're good. I'm good? Okay. So the other thing that we're using is I'm going to go down a little bit on this. So I'm using a very similar thing with our, my, my agent attraction and recruiting methods. So over here, it's a slightly, and I'm, I'm just going to full disclosure on this. I do not have the exact formula on this worked out perfectly, but again, it's just kind of the same methodology. Um, I, I try to bring about five new, in, I try to introduce EXP to five new people per, per week on average. Sometimes it's a little less than that, but I'm shooting, my, my, my weekly thing is I'm shooting for five, have five conversations, let's say that, okay? And of course that conversation should result in me sending the link. Am I still good, John? Yes. What's that? Yes, you're good. Okay, cool. Um, the other parts of this is so that I'm keeping track of the names of the people over here who I'm introducing to EXP. The next two columns is this is my hot list and this is my, my nurture list. So this is a list of the agents that I'm just sending monthly texts to. I'm just, maybe I'm sending them something about news that came up on the stock that we went um, public. When we went, I'm sorry, when we went, uh, when we uplisted to NASDAQ, I sent that to a bunch of my monthly people. I also sent it to my hot list, but I'm only, these nurtures, these are people who um, have, they haven't verbally committed, but they haven't said no, they're interested, but they're gonna be slow moving. And I put them on, a, on my nurture and I just, I just stay in touch with them. And, the, and when I say stay in touch, I may just text them saying, hey man, how's your month going? Or, you know, just relational stuff. I, I would say that, out of four, four messages to them, only one might be about, you know, EXP. The other three is just straight up dropping some, some, um, some value on them. That's this great. Is my, what's that? That's a great point is not to just, just, I mean, add value, add value, add value, um, and not just hit them with EXP, not just keep hitting them with the same thing. Give them some love, man. Give them some stuff of value. Give them some stuff that's personally relevant, right? So like, yeah. like you would drip on me, you would give me keep information about what Baker's doing, right? Right? Because you know, you know, we're, we're huge Baker fans, huge Sooner fans. So like that would resonate with me and, and keep me engaged um, with what's going on. Right. This over here is my hot list. So these are my people that I'm, I'm I mean, I've got an actual, I either got verbal commitments from the people over on my hot list or if I don't have a verbal commitment, um, they are strongly considering it. And so I'm just keeping these people right in front of me on a daily basis. Wherever your workplace is that you work on a daily basis, that's where this thing should go. And so just to kind of recap everybody, back to basics, keep things simple. You don't know if something's working or not unless you're tracking it. And I know that one of the biggest challenges when I was growing my business was dialing the tracking in. We got so caught up in like, I mean, so many different tracking numbers. We had Excel sheets coming out our, our rear ends. And, and it can get a little overwhelming actually. And it can actually take you off, off course from what you're really, really trying to accomplish, which by the way, it's sales. Nowhere on this board do we see sales though. Because I'm not focusing on the sales board. I'm focusing on the lead measures on a daily basis. One thing I forgot to say, here's the other cool part about this. Let's say that the first week of May comes by. In the week, I like three and a half more weeks in the month. 
I have three and a half more weeks in the month to make it up. I'll just have to hit the gas harder on week two and three and four. I haven't really lost yet. I'm just a little bit behind. You know, and this is how people get discouraged. You know, but you know that I got to, I'm like, okay, I got to hit the gas. Well, why am I not getting enough opportunities? Am I not calling enough of my leads? Or am I not doing enough lead generate? Like, what am I doing? I need to giddy up. And because here's, it starts with this. And obviously what pushes this is lead generation, but you could do that through Facebook. You could call expires. You can call for sale by owners. You could do online lead generation, home evaluation ads. We can go on and I'm focusing on making sure I'm getting this big thing right here. This right here is what's going to drive our sales. What if you're getting all of this and you're hitting this and you're nailing this and you're not getting the four sales? I'm going to tell you, you need to work on your face to face presentation. And that's the skills thing. And if you have questions about how to up those skills, we, uh, we have all the tools that we can share with you. And I mean, we're not the only ones at NEA. Obviously, I'm sure, you know, our, our leaders in this group, Kyle Whistle and Dan and, and some of the other big, big guys that have trained hundreds and hundreds of agents just like we have. Um, they have some really great tools. I'll give a little snippet. We got something coming out that is, it is the, the baddest piece of, uh, of, of training um, software that I've, I've ever seen. And it's not my software. We're uh, beta testing it. A good friend of mine has been spending about four years creating this thing. And, and it is, let me put it this way. If you want to sharpen your sales skills, but you hate uh, role playing, because I, I hate role playing, I personally, like I've done it tons, I get it, but there's only two ways to get in better. Or there, before this software, there are only two ways of getting better. Role playing or practicing in the field. The problem with practicing in the field is you're blowing through some good opportunities and you may miss them. We have a solution and it's coming. Um, we'll, we'll probably make a, a, a little announcement, but if you're interested in something like that, private message me and we'll get you a sneak peek at this, uh, this cool technology we have coming. And that's all I got, man. It's 1.30. I said I'd be done. 30 <laughs> minutes. We're uh, not playing. I appreciate it. I love it. And, uh, man, thank you for – Thank you for adding value and really being a true expert mentor and, and um, you know, giving us this uh, simple but extremely effective framework to, to hit our sales targets. And, and, you know, thank you for sharing that 2510-4 Stasic method. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all of you guys jumping in. Uh, man, when this is posted, share some love. Give us some, you know, what was your biggest takeaway? Um, share that in the group. Um, give Albie some love. And, um, you know, Thanks and feel free to reach out if you guys would, um, you know, like to see what it would take to, to jump on and, and add value back and be an expert mentor in this group in the future. Appreciate you guys. Brother Al, love you, man. Take care. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.